Hi friends, today we will see the Coursera Digital Signal Processing Part 1 Basic Concepts and Alayar Thumbs Week 2 Quiz Solutions Let's take the quiz See the first one, the write the value for the inner products V0, V1 Here they are given the two vectors, the V0 and V1 They are asking to find the inner product Let's see the inner product given the two vectors are P0 is 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and the V1 is 1 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 okay now the inner product is simply sum of products. So the inner products between V0 and V1 is sum of products of these two. That is the first element of the first vector and the first element of the second vector should be multiplied. Okay. Similarly, the second element of first vector and the second element of the second vector will be multiplied. Similarly, third and fourth so after multiplying all simply add that gives the inner product so it is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 so the inner product is simply 0 okay so, the first answer, the inner product of V0 and V1 is simply 0. Now, second, consider the following vectors in R4. Yeah, the V0, V1, V2. You can verify that the vectors are mutually orthogonal and have unit norm. Okay. How many different vectors V3 could we find such that V0, V1, V2, V3 is a full orthogonal basis in R4. So, for the full orthogonal vector, you can take the scale much of n number of vectors at V3 such as mutually orthogonal. So, it should be the greater than 3. Okay, for orthonormal, it is the case is different, but orthogonal should be greater than T. Okay, now the third one let y is equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 0. What are the expansion coefficients of y in the basis v0, v1, v2, v3, where v0 is 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, v1, v2, v3. Okay, here they are asking to find the expansion coefficients. So the expansion coefficients is, let's see, the third one. So Generally, generally, the y should be written as summation to k, and a suffix k into p k. Okay, so at the expansion coefficient a k is nothing but the y transpose into p k. So here we have the four vectors v not v one v two v three. So the given v not vector is. 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. So, the V1 vector is 1 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. And the V2 third vector is 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. And the last one v3 vector is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 okay, they are the four vectors what they giving along with that they given the vector y y is what is y here 1 2 minus 1 0 so the y vector is 1 2 minus 1 0 so you will get the four 
expansion coefficients of k value from 0 to 3. Okay. Now the first one, the a naught is y transpose into v0. So y transpose is the column vector becomes rho 1 to minus 1 0 is multiplied with e naught where it is a 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Just simply the matrix multiplication. So which is 1 into 1 by 2 plus 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 then minus 1 by 2 plus 0. So the result is 1. Okay. Next a1 where a1 is y transpose v1 so the y transpose is 1 2 minus 1 0 and the v1 vector is 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 Again, the matrix multiplication it is the 1 by 2 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 0. Answer is 2. Then A2 directly I am writing the so y transpose 1, 2, minus 1, 0 is multiplied with V2. What is V2? 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. The matrix multiplication is the 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 0. So the result is minus 1. The last one A3 1 2 minus 1 0 is multiplied with the V3 the vector which is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. The product is simply 1 by 2 and minus 2 into 1 by 2 this minus 1 plus minus 1 into minus 1 by 2 that is plus 1 by 2 and plus 0 which is 0 okay now the four expansion coefficients are, are the four expansion coefficients a naught is 1 so simply the a suffix k is 1 then 2 minus 1 0 1 2 minus 1 0 okay now see here how to write these values 1 so it should be 1.0 then 2 2.0 then minus 1 minus 1.0 then 0 0 0.0 like that you need to enter and the next one, which of the following set form a basis of R4? So the basis of R4 is, so Y, V1, V2, V3, that is a, in that, that is a, a basis. Next, Y, V0, V2, V3, and Y, V1, V2, v3 minus 2 times of v1 and of course these three are the basis of uh, r4 okay next uh, fifth one if we present the finite limb signals as vectors in euclidean space many operations on signals can be encoded as a matrix vector multiplication consider for example a circular shift in c3 a delay by one that is right shift transform the signal x is x0 x1 x2 transform into x dash and it can be described by the matrix okay, d there is a 3 by 3 matrix so that the x dash equal to d so determine the matrix f that implies the one step difference operator in c3 that is the operator that transform a signal x into x0 minus x2 x1 minus x0 x2 minus x1 transpose okay so they are asking the matrix f which transform vector x into x0 minus x2 x0 x1 minus x0 x2 minus x1 transpose so you need to find the matrix such that the matrix into x this product 
gives the result x0 minus x2, x1 minus x0, x2 minus x. Okay. Let's see. The fifth one. The given the vector x is x0, x1, x2. Okay. And the x transpose the given like the x2, x0, x1. Okay. For this transformation, they are using the matrix D, which is uh, 0, 0, 1, uh, 1, double 0, then 0, 1, 0. Okay. So, the relation among these three is x dash is equal to D into x. Now, we need to find the matrix that is x0 minus x2 x1 minus x0 then x2 minus x1 okay so you need to find the matrix which is the matrix multiplication where you next sign this matrix is x0 minus x2 x1 minus x0 x2 minus x1 which is 3 by 1 matrix so our x is also the 3 by 1. So this matrix should be 3 by 3. Simply the matrix multiplication. Now see here we have the x0 minus x2. So here we have the x0 term and x x2 term. Okay. But we are here we are taking the difference among these two. So x0 we have the positive polarity. There is no x1. So it should be multiplied with 0. And we have x2 with polarity is negative so it should be multiplied with minus 1 so 1 into x0 plus 0 into x1 plus minus 1 into x2 that gives the x0 minus x2 similarly for the second element x1 minus x0 so here we have the x0 with opposite polarity that is negative polarity so it should be multiplied with minus 1 so we have the x1 with the positive polarity so it should be multiplied with 1 and there is no x2 so it should be multiplied with 0 so in the third term there is no x1 so x1 should be multiplied with 0 0 into x0 is simply the 0 and we have x1 with polarities negative so it should be multiplied with minus 1 and we have the x2 with the positive polarity so it should be plus 1 so the 3 by 3 matrix is the 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 0 0 minus 1 1 okay this is the matrix f so you need to enter these nine elements like the every all the elements are separated by space and you need to enter the elements as a row wise first first row elements then second row then third row 1 0 minus 1 that is 1 space row space then minus 1 space minus 1 second row element the minus 1 1 then 0 third row is 0 minus 1 then 1 like that. okay now the last the sixth one given the matrix a compute matrix a power 4 that is the fourth power of a okay and there is a simple way to do that and if you have solved the previous question it should be obvious okay now see the a power 4 here directly multiply the a by 4 times or the multiply with a you will get the a square and the a square into a square so once you perform this so simply the matrix multiplication in the first case you will get the identity matrix okay you will get identity matrix simply i entered the identity matrix the first row is 1 triple 0 the second row is a 0 1 double 0 then the third row is 0 0 1 0 and the fourth one is triple 0 1 now you'll see the result will verify by sub after, uh, by submitting the answers now the grade is 100% okay so thank you